Yes, this is your girl, Shakamanda. Excuse me, um, there was just a little bit of interruption. But I just uh, wanted to speak about energy. Energy is everything. Energy is positive and energy is negative. But if you keep yourself around positive energy, you will see that a lot of positive things will reveal itself to you. But if you keep yourself involved into negative energy, then you will follow that lead with the negative energy wherever it is pulling you towards if you are the aren't smart enough to um, get yourself into the right uh, realm around the right people, around the right things to guide you in life. Definitely uh, want to speak about energy. And we also want to speak about family and, and love and uh, togetherness. I see a lot of parents, they really don't take the time out with their children to really talk to them about the dangers, about um, safety, or just about peer pressure and everything. And we need to come together as one to start teaching our children and stop being scared to speak up to other children, other people's children, when we see them in the wrong. And stop, uh, you know, just, just turning the eye at everything that's happening. Because we create the future for our children. If we allow our children to be surrounded by negative energy, then definitely we're allowing ourselves to be around it as well. And we are definitely responsible for the behaviors and the actions of their children uh, as they get older and turn into adults. So most of us, if you have a job and it requires a lot of your time where you really aren't able to know who your child is or basically... Uh, you know, take the time out to see what their mentality is, to see if there's any problems, see if they're a bully, see if that they're if um they're being bullied, see if um they're into gangs, see if they're you know just just create a tavern around your children, and very much so, you can shelter your children as much as you want to, because. That's what we need. We need to shelter our children a lot more, but we need to teach them as well while we're sheltering them of dangers of the world, you know? And also, um, you know, we just need to come together as one. Like I said, it takes a village to raise a child, definitely, you know? That's why there's so many different morals and values with the old heads, because they really took the time out to come together as one, as uh, a family, to take care of one another, because they wouldn't want to see that, you know, they would want their children, child protected, so the village would, you know, if they see one child acting up, they would, everyone would get on that child, and that child would watch their step, and they grew up with vo values and morals and everything, and sometimes you can... Do whatever you can to try to teach your child and then they choose their own way, which when they become adult, we can say, okay, you're responsible for your rights and for your wrongs, but we're the ones that need to install it in them so that they can remember, listen, I, you know, I was raised right, you know, and everything. And, um, so there's no excuse basically. And, um, you know, we've all been through ups and downs in our lives and we just need to come together and communicate with our children, communicate in relationships. We need to communicate uh, when it, even with the music industry that's going on right now. There's so much going on, you know, and we can limit the nonsense if we come together. You know, even in the dance hall industry, we're having so many problems that's around because no one wants to come together. Everyone wants to bust, but someone wants to be bigger and someone wants to be better. We all are in the same gang. When I say in the same gang, we are all bleed the same blood. We have the same air that we breathe. So everyone has their time. Everyone has their time when it's your time. And then that another person has it when it's their time. There's no reason to bad mind one person because they want to step their game up on something. And then, you know, smile in their face later on. When you see them doing good and then talk about them bad behind their back. That's bad, man. You can't serve the devil and serve God at the same time. You have to choose your destiny. And definitely, I wanted to speak about this in the dance hall movement. You see, Buju Bantan went to, uh, you know, he did a big, big, big event. It was It made history. And I feel like he allowed con the, the, the higher ups and a lot of control to be taken over him, and he, a lot of his power was taken away, it's like he's still locked up in captivity, 
spiritually and mentally, but he's not really free because he has to listen to the higher ups. So if he were to sing Boom Bye Bye, that would have really made history, but because of the higher ups, he didn't do it. That would have never been me. I mean, we can't say it could have never been me, but you are Buju Bantan. You have a historical song that you're singing, but you're letting someone control you, which is the negative, the negative energy, which is the higher self and there's a lower self. So this higher self that he, you know, that you're trying to invest, you have all these people that are, that are, that want to use their lower self and their lower energy towards you to make you fail. What he should have done is he should have sang Boom Bye Bye for the people because they're, are definitely key words and key things. I mean, there's the, the key word. There's things that people aren't going to like in songs. And you have Sizzler singing, you know, about Batiman and Batiboy and all this stuff, everything, and no one's saying anything. But you have Buju, Bantan, somehow... He has to pay the piper somehow. I don't know what's going on, but I, I really don't want to talk too much here. But I can, because this is 87.7 FM. This is WBOA. We have a voice. You understand? This is called The Voice. So basically what is going on is that we allow too many negative energies to come in between us. Because if you didn't allow it to infiltrate you from the beginning, you would never have to deal with the repercussions, which is the distractions. Just like Buju said when his son went on Twitter and tried to blow him up and say, oh, you're a Bati boy and you're a Bati man, you're the biggest Bati man in Jamaica and the kids don't like you and this and this and that. And that right there was just a scare from the higher ups to use his son, to use his son to go against him to try to make him conform to them. And it worked. There's no way in this world that our, that our ancestors would even appreciate that. They would roll over in their grave right now, and I'm pretty sure that there are many of them rolling over in their grave because of this. Peter Tosh and Bob Marley paved the way for us, for a lot of the, the, the artists and a lot of us to have the rights that we have now. We didn't, he didn't do, they didn't do all of that for, uh, for anyone to conform like a slave. That's a slave mentality, to let someone and higher ups control you and your song and you take it off of your playlist and you don't sing it at all. Definitely can't happen. That's what's wrong with the music industry. And then you have, you know, your the, the, the kids and you got the, the, the hip hop artists, they're coming out to Jamaica because now Jamaica is popping. So now everything is crossing over. So the music is crossing over from hip hop to dance hall. So it's called, it, it, it's, it's a hip hop dance hall era. You get me? Trap dance hall as well. So you got Reagan King and you got the six throwing up all the sixes. So now listen to this. Now you got six, you got squash. I have nothing to say against anyone. That I, I think everyone has their, has great talent. But you got everyone throwing up all these sixes. You have a big crowd of a whole, about 10,000 people saying six, 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 six. What do you think that's going to put into the air? What kind of vibration do you think that's going to put into the air? Exactly. Nothing but negative energy, no matter what you say. Six, 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 everyone saying all of the sixes. That's just putting bad energy in it, and I don't want any parts to do with it. And music is the key to your soul. So you have to be careful, and you have to, you have to pay attention to the signs and symbols in this world, because it's just giving us, it, it tells us everything we need to know. You understand? Exactly. So... You know, just just for you know a little uh, meta, you know, just something to just get your mind kind of like you know going. I think that a lot of the artists that's in the dancehall industry, we need to choose and need to stay with one style. When you're all over the place, no one can really figure out who you are, what kind of music you're singing, uh, what you're doing. So when you are on a you know not on a one track mind and you're all over the place. You're not going to get anywhere. It's timeless. Timeless music is what counts. When you have music that is timeless, that is catching the ears and in, in the hearts and the souls of people and putting good, good vibes and positive energy into their soul, into their spirit so that they can carry that on with them for the rest of their lives and also with our children. If you feed your children, if you feed your children junk, 
and it, 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 which is music. If you feed your children junk music and you put bad music in their mind, you're feeding it. That's, that's the same thing as feeding them bad food. You know, you got to feed their minds the right things. You got to feed their souls the right things. And we definitely need to do the same thing as well. And we need to pay attention to the signs and symbols that's going on. We need to come together, together, and start respecting one another. Start smiling with one another. Start shaking each other's hands. Start coming together and, 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 and doing dinners and, um, and raising money and awareness for our children. Because no one else is going to do it unless we do it. We are responsible for these things. No one else. So there's no excuses because we all need to take responsibility for our actions whether if it's for good or for bad or whether if it's music or if it's just if you're working at a Burger King station. Period. You understand. But yes, I definitely want to do this more often and come, you know, to, you know, to the people and speak about these things that's going on because these are things that need to be spoken about. People are scared nowadays to open up their mouth and say what needs to be said about the world and about things that's going on on this planet. Okay? Also in the music industry. It's gone haywire. We have dance hall where you used to just wind up and have a nice time and relax. Now you got them jumping off the top of a, 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 a of a dresser, jumping on a woman and everything. What kind of dance hall is that? That's pure nonsense. Okay? That's pure nonsense. That's who what kind of home training is that? There's no home training in that. This fun is fun. But listen, we are exploiting our people. We are exploiting our our families. We're exploiting our personalities. And we're exploiting our, our spirit. We need to take back our energy. And we need to really fulfill that. And we need to come together and teach one another. And start to spread the message of love. There's the power, the power of love. Is the most powerful thing in the whole un- whole world. It's unconditional. It's something that you can see, you can't see, but you can feel it. Deep down, you can't weigh it, but you can feel it. And having your third eye open and paying attention to things around you will definitely guide you and show you the right way and where you need to be. Just pay attention to signs and symbols around you. The people that have always had your back, like Mr. Lawrence. Shout to Mr. Lawrence. I learned a lot from listening to my elders. Because if you don't listen to them, you will never know anything. We don't know everything. And sometimes the elders don't know everything either, and they learn off of us. But it's good to learn off of the ones that are very wise, as Mr. Lawrence. And a couple of elders that I respect, you know? So, you know, basically, in the music industry, we need to really come together spiritually and start teaching our kids, teaching our friends, teaching our family, even our associates, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Even other artists, we need to come together, need to come together and stop all the riffraff and in, 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 in the bad mind and, and the he say, she say, and... Oh, I'm bigger than I'm better. Nobody's bigger. Nobody's better. Everybody's on the same level. We're all here for the same reason. There's enough in this whole world for everyone. There's billions of people in this world. There's so much that we can accomplish if we stop looking at what someone else has instead of respecting and loving what we have that's in front of us. Whether if it's a, a one pair of shoe or two pair of shoe. It really, really, really is important, but I just definitely want to let everyone know that there's a Juneteenth that's coming up on the 29th with Bianca. I will definitely have her on next week at 6 p.m., so I hope that everyone will be listening so that if anyone wants to show up for the for the Juneteenth, you can give me a call, and or I'm going to give you her direct number so that you can reach her so that... You can come to this Juneteenth. This is definitely somewhere where our people can get together and enjoy one another and just be prosperous, you know, and just and just and just enjoy each other and, and enlighten each other and spiritually bring each other up. Definitely. So anyone that's 
interested in performing for the Juneteenth, make sure you link me up, 347-743-6484. I just want to tell everyone, I love Alauna. Thank you for taking your time out with me right now and just listening here on Black Star Radio. Make sure you check out my website. It's Shock Yana Play Entertainment.simplesite.com. Make sure you go to that Instagram. It's the at the real Shock Gyal Na Play. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Shock Gyal Na Play Entertainment. All you have to do is just Google me and follow me on every social platform. You can also find me on SoundCloud. I'm also an artist as well. You know, I do my little singing and uh, you know, little something that I do. So make sure you check me out. Also, all the artists that you listen to on my station, you can also check them out on my website, which is a 24-hour radio station that airs 24 hours. www.blackstar, excuse me, www.radiokang, capital R, capital K-I-N-G, dot com, slash lowercase radio slash black star radio all lowercase make sure you check me out and make sure you listen to it if you have any music that you would like to submit you can hit me up for those promotions definitely 347-743-6484 and also make sure you check out ross lawrence tomorrow night at 7 p.m actually you can Check him out with Afrobeats at 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you can also listen to the reggae rhythms. Old school, new school, everything all together from 11, excuse me, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. And we also have the Dark and Enlightenment series, which Dr. Umar was on the week before last. And I missed it because of my WhatsApp. So I just, you know, definitely want to say I would love to meet Dr. Umar one day. And I... Apologize, I wasn't able to meet you. And uh, Mr. Lawrence, I hope you had a great interview, and I hope you had a great um, uh, time to seeing him and a pleasure meeting him. Uh, one day I will be meeting you, Mr. Dr. Omar Umar. But um, for right now, I just want to tell everyone, you know, I just appreciate you so much. And you know, time is not promised to us. So every time, every little second that you have, try to do good. Do good with it. If you do bad with it, then nothing good will happen for you. So make sure you do good with the time that you have right now on this earth and being in the presence of each other. Right now, I just want to take the time out and leave you with this song. It's called I and I Generation. I and I to the rest and make the chains. I and I generation to make the chains. To predict the future, you have to create it now. More while we just sing and stretch the imagination. Child to see the future of this generation. Generation of Africans that was stolen from the motherland into black labor and these plantations. Jamaica, the island, the kings and queens were left on, rising as a peak in the Caribbean. Reggae beat and dance all Bring back the oral tradition Artistic poetry and word sound Let the poor well, and the dancing This is called I and I Generation This is dedicated to all my people All across the world My generation the will make the change The change is making by us I love In all this generation Open your mind and you will understand That words take action the future is now, posterity is a must, science and technology, advance the vocabulary, don't place your future in the constabulary, forced by the queen to kill human beings of color, look who I shoot them brother, 
But the truth is about I and I generation making that change When Rasta man and soldier man they found similar occasion Mission stay clear Take him by the state from all these pirates My generation will make that change The challenge is open this generation, the punk and the residues of Henry Morgan. The power is given to I and I generation. We use them opinion and share the situation. Mind control, what they foretold, our ancestors into captive. No, this generation come to show you how to live. Up you mighty race. Marcus Piave said that many years Pyramids decoded Mental reloaded Information exploded Black man stand with black woman in this generation Revolution time Get the world in momentum Too much I will sit down Too much love at home Honor yourself Let your will be done I and I generation Let's get that to come. Look! I and I generation make the change. Make the change. Make the change. Make the change. Yes, yes, my people, my people, we need each other. I and I Generation by Rastakara. I want to give a big shout out to Rastakara, straight out of Jamaica. Definitely, you really have touched the hearts and souls and minds of a lot of people across the, across the world, across the universe. And to be able to meet you one day would be very special. And a big shout out from Shout Gana Play Entertainment, Black Star Radio. You tune in to 87.7 FM, WBOA. So make sure you tune in with me next week at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. It is wicked raining outside, so make sure you have your umbrella for the rest of the night because it's going to be raining for the next two days all across central New York. Big up all my people in New York City. Big up all my people in West Africa. Also, London. Japan. I want to give a big shout out to my cousin. She's in Jamaica right now with her husband, Rowena and Mark. I want to give a shout out to you all the way from here in New York to Montego Bay. Make sure you get back safe. Much love to everyone. God bless. And make sure you check me out next week. I want you to listen to this next song before I get up out of here. I love all of you. Shot y'all not play. You don't know a suit I'm ready for you girl, let me know. Right, right now you're listening to Black, Black Star Radio. Fridays from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Catch the vibe. Music or production. I do we know. Friendship. Yes, 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 you are tuned in. This is Dwayne Now. Hold you in my arms. Definitely on Black Star Radio. With your girl, Shakamanda. You don't know the thing set. I do we know. Ah. Let's go. I wanna hold you tight. Hold you tight. Girl, I wanna treat you right. I wanna make sweet love to you. This song is dedicated to all my lovers here on this Friday, this rainy, beautiful Friday. I wanna make sweet love to you, champagne and champagne. Girl, your love is appealing. It may be living, me oda cry if you tell me say so you're living. Me reminisce, you know you make me touch the ceiling. Me just afloat, people wonder if me dreaming, dreaming. 
Me no put me trust in a no girl, but God know that love you really know the saving. You make me feel warm all when it's freezing. Now nah, let your go till I even, even. I wanna hold you tight, girl. I wanna treat you right. I'm gonna make sweet love to you. I need you in my arms tonight. I wanna hold you tight, girl. I wanna treat you right. I'm gonna make sweet love to you. Champagne and candlelight. Baby, we are both. Yes, 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 I gotta get up out of here, but I just like to say I love Aluna. Check me out 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. next week. Same time, same place, WBOA 87.7 FM, Shop Gan La Play Entertainment. Don't forget to check out their website, Shop Gan La Play Entertainment. Simplesite.com, Caribbean Takeover Radio. We got Ross Lawrence tomorrow, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Locking it down, 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Ross Lawrence locking it down. Caribbean Takeover Radio, Black Star Radio to the world. Girl, I wanna treat you right. I'm gonna make sweet love to you. I need.